What's up guys? I'm gonna do a quick little video of update of our 55 Dodge that I'm building for my wife. I know I haven't made uh, videos lately. I've been just super busy with work and trying to get this thing at least a, a, rolling, a rolling truck for now for the car show next weekend. But uh, I'll do an update video and kind of show you where we're at right now. So starting from the front, we got the 5.9 Magnum out of a 2001, I think, or 2000 uh, Dodge Durango RT. Got JB8 headers that I just have, uh, we're mocking it up right now to see where we need to come in with the pipe, exhaust pipe. Um, we got it all in with new motor mounts. It sat right in this frame. This is, the, the frame is a 89 Dodge Dakota, so first gen Dakota. That's why I went with this frame because that Magnum motor, uh, well, the, the motor that this uh, Dakota came with was that 3.9 V6, and it has the same mounts as the Magnum mount, so this motor actually sat right in. And this is the that 5.9 um, 360. I'm trying to put it all back together now since it's sitting in there. Got the tranny all mounted up. That's that 46, 46 RE, I think. Complete new front suspension, <clears throat> brand new rack and pinion, brand new uh, upper control arms, all new ball joints, um, new coil springs, new shocks. The shocks are Beltac Street Performer shocks. Brand new tires. There's the wheels that we put on that my wife chose. It's the Foose uh, Legendary. Uh, the fronts are 20 by eight and the rears are 20 by 10. Got the Willwood brakes on it. Had to piece that kit together. Um, you can get a D, I think it's the D52 uh, caliper. And then uh, the rotor is from like a 80, I'm not sure you gotta do uh, your own research, but like a, maybe like an 85 uh, Dodge D100 full size truck. Um, and then you have to get a bracket uh, from a company, oh, what's that company called? Um, chassis Engineering or Chassis something. Um, but they're really big on doing the Dakota front ends on the older trucks and, the, and stuff. So they actually, uh, fabbed a bracket that the Willwood uh, D52 caliper mounts up to and then the, the spindle is the same on the first gen Dakota which this frame is the first gen Dakota as that 80 something um, Dodge D100 so that's why it's able you're able to kind of piece together a Willwood kit for it for the front so that's pretty much the front Okay, we got the cab mounted on. Okay, got the cab on. Everything's stock height right now because I wanted to see what it's gonna look like with the body on before I decide how much we're gonna lower it. But the body is sitting on there, all bolted down. I did have to cut the firewall a little bit, but uh, I got a guy that does really good work on the firewall. So he told me just to cut where I need to cut to get it mounted and he will do the rest. So I did that. So cab sitting on that Dakota frame, really nice. The inside's still gutted. I still got a lot of work to do on the inside, but as you can see where I had to cut that front, that corner right there. And he's gonna make a whole trans um, uh, piece to, to go over that. This is the rear of the frame, rear of the truck. So again, brand new tires, 20 by 10s, Boost Legends, really nice wheel. I went with the Dodge Durango rear end, um, 392 gears, new shocks, the Beltec Street Performer shocks. I know these are drum brakes. Eventually I'm gonna convert um, 
to disc in the back but for now i really wanted that 392 gears and the only thing i could find was uh that in a in a drum so i went with it for now but there she sits on that first in dakota frame sits really nice the bed i'm currently right now i uh, got the bed out doing some work on it i uh, got make that fire um the headboard fit a little uh tighter on it like pushed in a little more because it hits the cab just a little bit you can see where i shortened shortened it in the front because these were this truck's originally a long bed so i had to i had to take on the three or four inches out the front of it and then i also took like i don't know three or four three inches like off the back and then just sucked it in to make this a uh, short bed because the um, the frame is um uh, short beds uh single cab short bed dodge dakota i'm gonna try to sand this all down today or tomorrow and get a prime just regular light gray primer This is the false floor I had made for it. Had to go pretty high with it, but I think it'll be fine. Still got I've seen I've seen shorter. So I think that's fine. Yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now. So when I get the bed on and the front flip on and it's sitting there as a full truck i'll do another update video all right we'll see you guys then take it easy